everyone, it's Gidu, and in this video I'm going to be doing a quick closer look at uh, Tanaka's Nendroid from the Q series. I'll do a quick little rotation. He's a really simple figure, so this probably isn't going to be a very long video. There's not like a crazy amount of detail. He doesn't have crazy detailed hair or a crazy detailed outfit. He just looks like this. Um, I'm sorry I didn't put him in a cuter pose or something. Well, I, I think this pose is cute. I didn't put him in a more action-y pose. Um, mostly because I don't really have a lot of space in that figure shelf that all my high-key stuff is on. So to save space and to make sure he fits with everybody else, I thought I'd just put him in a general pose. Um, this one, I think, also is quite good for his character. <laughs> it's a very in-character for him. And I also really liked his little sharp teeth and his faceplate. So made me really happy. Um, I don't really see any issues that much with this figure at all. Um, there's no scrapes on his head or anything like that. Which is nice, but I wish that other figures would also have... Sorry, I'm trying to refocus my camera and it's just not working. Um, I wish the other figures would have less issues, considering they're more complicated. Because their hair is just more detailed and like not a shaved head. <laughs> You know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I think it's really interesting that they went with the route of having his hair in the front, like his actual shaved head part, be attached to the actual faceplate itself and not have the faceplate its own thing. Because normally they have the hair bit comes off, then the faceplate comes off separate, and then you can exchange it and then put the hair back on. I like that because then you can use the faceplates for whatever you want, um, like any of the other nandroids. But unfortunately with his, you won't be able to do that because his head literally has the hair like right on it. But whatever. Not too bad. His little sharp teeth are pretty cute. I like him a lot. He will be, I believe, the last um, Haikyuu Nendroid that I buy unless they do some other side characters that I really love. But I'm not sure if they will do that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I wanted to keep this quick and short just considering he's so simple. There's nothing really crazy about him. Um, I will link all of my social media in the description below as long as my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode. You can check those out if you'd like. I get a small commission if you buy anything through those links. So thank you guys so much for those of you who've done it and those of you who'll do it in the future. I really appreciate the help. Um, and I'll link his unboxing in the description below as well if you're interested in seeing how he is packaged and whatnot. Um, also, I will, well, actually, I won't link anything else, but if you're interested in seeing any other Q um, Nendroid figures, you can check out my channel. I have quite a few of them, most of them, which is a lot. I don't, I don't even know how many there are of them at this point, but there's a ton. Uh, so you can check those out if you want. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> you guys have a good day or good night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!